we have lots of folks that you're going to hear from today who are so helpful for this project every year and in terms of financial literacy. So they're going to get introduced later as well as some other folks. But first, I just want to acknowledge our Jobs Corps students who I think are in the front. Jobs Corps, hand raise. Thank you, Jobs Corps. It is such a great program in our city, and I want to thank West and all the different sponsors who are involved. Uh, but when we think about our own challenges that we face, whether it's those in our families or it's those dealing with um, poverty and everything in economic development and job growth in our city, you know, one common thread that has been around for a long time, but one that we continually have to work on is financial literacy. And the real challenge, and even for me, uh, with a, a finance background, actually, I was like in accounting and finance and sort of less interesting things, perhaps, than being mayor. Um, but they, uh, whether it's your profession or it is uh, just part of your everyday lives, and I know this is what's core to the Jobs Corps, um, folks have to understand that financial literacy is connected to ending the cycle of poverty in our city, and by extension, actually, throughout our country. And so uh, we've tracked you know, all the statistics historically from over time, and folks know that financial literacy, unfortunately, continues to decline in America. And this is why it's so important, because when we have kids who are growing up in environments with perhaps two parents working, one parent also working, um, that cycle of poverty is essentially accelerated because folks actually, when they get older, they don't understand things like credit card debt and all these types of things that eventually drive people into that negative reinforcing cycle. And so financial literacy is very, very important. And that's why I'm so grateful to West and also our state treasurer, our attorney general, for making this a priority in our state. Now, I do want to highlight a couple of things about Smart Money Week, because that's how we loop in a lot of this. And uh, we're here today to really kick that off. Of course, it starts next week. And I know a lot of folks in school learn, you know, we, we think of education as being, um, you know, facts about World War II and dates and names and then working on, um, you know, different things, whether it's even math related. But connecting that to skills that you'll use in your everyday life is very, very real. And, you know, for the Older folks in the room like myself, you know, I was just struggling through my taxes, <laughs> of course, like some of us were last week, and also trying to do the amortization tables on a home loan. Um, these are skills, actually, that really are part and parcel with being part of the American modern economy. And so if you're missing those, you're, you're behind the curve. And uh, that's really want to shore, shore that up. And so Smart Money Week is a great way to start on that process. And it starts with kids in schools. And so uh, we're hoping that folks can essentially uh, weave back into all that we've lost in the education system. We've tried to put back in the state legislature and other things, but through the Jobs Corps, through Smart Money Week, we want to try and invigorate that part of our, our learning program uh, throughout every aspect of Albuquerque. And especially, of course, in our school system, but also through the work that the Jobs Corps is doing. So we are doing a couple of things on this. On a, uh, Saturday, April 20th, which of course is coming up at Cherry Hills Library at 2 p.m., uh, Nusenda is sponsoring a predatory lending workshop. Uh, we're also doing another Nusenda event uh, April 24th that's going to be at... Um, I don't have the location, actually, the April 24th event, but that's going to be on identity theft. you know where that one is, Agnes? <laughs> TBD, uh, stay tuned. Um, and uh, there's another identity theft workshop on the 25th at Tony, at Tony Hillerman. And I mentioned a couple of those around identity theft because that is, of course, sort of the unfortunate next wave of financial literacy. And it's understanding, you know, uh, all the things around we're asked for all of this personal information, which then unfortunately can be used against us later. Uh, and for those folks who've been through that, it actually can really take its toll in the long term on uh, yourself and really even when you're applying for student loans and things like this, um, it's extremely disruptive uh, to people's lives when they get their identity theft stolen, not to mention obviously the financial drain as well. So we do want to work together on these issues and we want to try as a city to help promote this and I think we're just really getting started. I'm honored to be here today. Uh, to talk about some of these issues, but I'm hoping going forward we'll be able to help advertise and promote them a little bit more and actually would love to spend some time with the Jobs Corps students as well uh, going forward. 
And uh, the last thing I would mention too is that we have in essentially, when we try and lift up Albuquerque and we try and work on, I always talk about addressing challenges from all sides. So it's addressing crime from all sides. It's addressing economic development from all sides. Often what is forgotten is some of the most common blocking and tackling things like financial literacy, like access to capital, uh, like some of the training that West provides. These are the things that actually tend to move the needle and make the most difference in our state as opposed to, you know, we want to create jobs and bring companies here, but I want to take this uh, moment to remind folks that as much as we talk about ribbon cuttings and things like that, those don't happen if we don't have a financial literate population if uh, we're not actually working on sort of bringing everyone up from the bottom, not just plopping down a new company here or there in Albuquerque. So this is part of that holistic addressing job creation and economic development from all sides. So uh, I hope everyone gets to participate in Smart Money Week and uh, those different workshops I hope we'll also be able to have more of in the future. And thank you so much, West, for quarterbacking this effort and for the students from Job Score. Thank you so much.